Hi, I'm Thomas Chatterton Williams, author of Losing My Cool, How a Father's Love and 15,000 Books Beat Hip Hop Culture. Thomas, when you talk about the pitfalls of hip hop culture, you seem to be speaking as though it affects the black population in a significantly different way than it does other races. Do you think there's an equivalent culture in other racial groups? I think it does affect blacks differently. I think that many cultures have uh, aspects of the culture that um, negatively impact individuals. Um, you can look at um, fundamentalist uh, Islamic culture and you could say that women are being held back or that men are um, not able to realize themselves in certain ways. But I think that hip-hop culture and black, contemporary black culture is unique in a way because um, the negative aspects of the culture are also the most marketable and commercially successful uh, aspects. So you have um, you have uh, antisocial behaviors that are being sold to blacks as authentically bl black behavior, and I think that that's uniquely problematic right now. What is it about hip hop that you think is so pernicious in a way that things like movies and video games aren't, or are all of these things in a symbiotic relationship with one another? I think that hip hop is different from movies and video games. The fact that it's a lifestyle, that it's a, that it's a, that it's also a soundtrack to a lifestyle, that it's a way of moving and being in the world makes it um, uh, quite different from an isolated event like a movie or a video game that is a, a rest from real life, that is a, an escape. Hip, there's no escape from hip-hop. It's, 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 it's almost a religion, the way that it's lived in a lot of, uh, in a lot of uh, black life. So you talk in your book about how reading and turning to books helped you escape some of the pitfalls of hip-hop culture. Did you feel like the books you were reading represented your own voice and experiences as a black man? Do you think that most African Americans turn to hip-hop because they feel it's a better reflection of them than publishing and literature are? I feel those books did represent um, who I was and who I am. And I think that one of the saddest things about um, hip-hop culture and the, and the contemporary mindset is that if someone doesn't look just like you, dress just like you, and hasn't grown up in your neighborhood, in your hood, that they can't speak to you. And I think that a lot of these kids who, who, who see 50 Cent and, and Tupac um, as, as, as deep thinkers and who think that they uh, address their sense of angst in the world, I think these kids would be surprised to read Dostoevsky or Nietzsche and see that uh, these men um, have a lot to say about what these what, what these contemporary kids are going through about contemporary issues and about timeless issues. Um, has the recent election of Barack Obama as president had a significant impact on hip hop culture? It, is it simply an issue of replacing one black role model for another, or is there a more entrenched problem at work? I think that it's not so simple as replacing one role model for another. I think that the fact that there's a new kind of role model that has never uh, existed before will start to will start to see the benefits of that 5, 10, 20 years down the line. I don't think that this has changed to pop culture in the short term. Immediately it hasn't. But, uh, but I hope that down the road uh, the fact that the most famous and the most powerful black man in the world is not an athlete or entertainer but is a, is a deep and nuanced thinker, I hope that that will pay off in ways that we don't even see right now.